Hi guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to apply to the University of Bergamo. So the University of Bergamo is a public university located in Lombardy, a region in you know northern Italy, and is one of the best public universities in Italy. They have several programs. They have six faculties, uh, including that of economics, educational studies, engineering foreign languages and literatures, humanities and law. And then this is one of, you know, this is one of the best universities for international students. So I'm quickly going to go on ahead to show you guys how to apply. You can read more about the university on the university page. But in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to apply to the university for this academic year. So usually when you come, they're going to ask you, for like your citizenship so you choose whichever city i'm like where you're coming from but then i've already chosen um it's ghana so after you're done choosing you go here if you're a new applicant you go to um new applicant if you've registered already you go to um this part but then i'm a new applicant so i'm going to go to this section and then i'm going to register after registering, they sent a pin to my email. So I'm going to go to my email, use that pin, and then um, complete the registration process. So I went to my email and then I click on click here to register. Then it brought me here, like my name, then the password I want to use. Then I registered. So I'm going to fill in all my details. So, like after you're done, you continue. So, I'm done registering. And then, this is my account. So, I come in here. And then, I go to my profile. After you're done registering, then you go to my application. And then, you move to continue. So, should you not have searched for programs on University Italy, this is the um, place for you to also kind of like search for programs. So what I'm going to do is um, select all. If it's master's degree, fine, you choose master's degree. Then this academic here, I want it in English. Um, maybe, yeah, combined English or Italian. Then I'll choose specific departments, but then you let me leave it like that choose all departments then um okay so these are all masters um, programs accounting governance and sustainability is open at the moment um then the next is going to start on 2nd january so the application is closed at this moment then clinical psychology for individuals families and organizations the application is closed at the moment so you can go through you can see the applications that are opened at the moment and the ones that are closed um like at this point in time so from the options that i see here an example if i'm interested in masters for planning and management of tourism systems i can see like the options here like full time is two years the study language is in english i can find out more information about the course here um okay what what is the location is in it's the, the um the, like you know the campus location is here then i can see the duration the english then i can see the tuition fee from here so the tuition fee the first installment from zero to 500 euros depending on the students from the income then the tuition fee the second installment is from zero to 1700 depending on the students family income okay so you can see like the one-time deposit is 156 okay enrollment fee not refundable has to be paid on your arrival in italy so when you get to italy you pay this amount for your enrollment fee then the registration fee is 52 euros it's also one time only eligible applicants have to pay pre-enrollment fee which is also not refundable so that's what you have to take note of it's good for you to come here and look at all the requirements so you can see the language requirements are all here 
if you don't have the letter from your university stating that you studied in English, then you will have to present out TOEFL and all the other certificates needed to prove that you can study in English. Then at least one um, references should be provided. You can see all the requirements here. So documents for your online pre-evaluation, a copy of your bachelor's translated into English or Italian, either a copy of your official transcript for at least three or four years translated into English, then major area of your study courses description. So a list of the relevant courses, the content and everything. Then your English certificate and a copy of your valid passport. So yeah, you can read more about it. But then these are basically what you need to know regarding like this particular program. So after I'm done, I feel like, yeah, I made the requirements and everything. If I feel like this is the program for me, then I'm going to go on ahead and apply. And I can see here, it commences on 1st October 2024. So like, you know, the the program commences on 1st. So like lectures commences on the 1st. Then application deadline is 31st of January 2024. So then what I'm just going to do is I'll go to apply now. This is the place. This is the place priorities. So planning and management of tourism systems. Remember, you have you can choose two. Um, you can choose like two options. So if I'm interested in any other program, I can go here and then choose any other program from these options. Accounting, governance, and sustainability. Okay, yeah, I also want to like add this program to like my options. Um, so I can also add it like that. So I have this too. So you just click apply now and then it, it's added to your um, your priorities list. So you can arrange this list based on like, you know, your priorities. If you, you are more interested in accounting, governance and sustainability, you can kind of like move it up and then planning and management, you bring it down basically. So after you're done with that, then you're quickly going to go to profile. You fill your information, your name, your passports, um, details, your full name like your surname, the issue date, your gender, nationality, country of issue, birth certificate, citizenship, you fill everything. And then you're going to, um, you are required to upload a formal photograph of yourself. So you kind of like, you put it here. You also state details of your country of residence, your birth certificate, and all of that. After you're done, you're going to go to like the next page. Um, but then since I'm just showing you, when you go to the next page, it will take you to contacts. Then you come here, your address, like you fill in all details, your province, your postal code, your country, and all other details, like all other de details related to you, your telephone and everything. Then after you're done, you move to the next page. Um, and the next page has to do with your education. So here... You fill in all details about your education, your level of education. You can see from your bachelor's, master's, you put other qualification, you put it there. Then your expected graduation, you write it there. And you just move to this part, official name of school. Then you move to the program, the qualification that was awarded, your diploma name, the issue um, date, and then issued by who, which authority. Your GPA, the average um, GPM, then you move to the study language, the country. And after you are just done with everything, you go to this part and you fill all of these um, details as well. So after you are done, total number of study years completed. After you are done with all of these details, you're going to move on ahead to languages section. What is your native language? Obviously, it's English. So you choose English and you insert other languages that you understand. Yeah, then you move to the next page, which will bring you to employment. So you insert details about, like, you know, um, your employment. So basically, you describe your work-related experience. So if you have held several positions, please, like, you know, only insert three to four that you think are most relevant. So choose um, your experience that is more related to the programs you're choosing to come and study. Then you put the details here. Then you move on to next, which will bring you to activities. So you describe your most important activities, your list of extracurricular activities, including non-university activities. 
professional trainings, courses, internships, seminars, you input all of that there. Then you move to next, it brings you to residences. Then here you enter if you have like stayed abroad for extended periods, for example, as a foreign exchange student, working, traveling, all of that, you can include the details there. Then you move to references. This is actually very, very important. They stated that at least you need to have one reference from your current or former teachers. Um, yeah, so what you're going to do is you are just going to go here, the references name, the email. Then you're going to ask for a reference. So it's going to be sent directly to the person. And the person is going to um, give their reference. Like, you know, yeah, of you. It's just going to directly be uploaded. Then you move here to like your motivation. Why are you choosing to come and study? One of the most important parts of your application is your motivation letter. What's your goal? In short, it's your goal for coming to study. So why are you a suitable candidate? Why should you be picked? So it's very, very important you insert your um, your motivation letter after you're done. You move to next. And then it brings you to documents. So this is the um, part where you include all the documents that are needed. Then after you're done, you move to next. It brings you to other. So any other thing you want to include, your medical information, your additional requests, your information source, like everything else you want to include as other, you can put it here. Then you move to this section. So this is very, very, very important. You can see the checklist here, your major area of study, courses description, accounting, governance, and sustainability, um, proof of English language proficiency, entry qualification document, documentation formalities, go down, passport ID card, passport, um, your CV, your major area, courses, description, planning, management, tourism, entry qualification document, then your application for scholarship. So what you're going to do is you go to, the, you move checklist by checklist, okay? So it's written here, please choose one of the options below to, um, to best reflect your preferences. So I've not uploaded required document here. I've uploaded required document here. So you choose what applies um, like to your situation. If I've uploaded, you choose this. If you have not, you, because I've not chosen, so obviously. But then you can see list of relevant um, contents, themes, aims, and objectives of the courses you have attended will be requested during the online pre-evaluation. So it's very necessary for you to fill the form. So this is the form. This is the form. So you have to fill the pre-evaluation application form is compulsory for all students. So what you have to do is you have to come here and fill this form. Okay, put everything, like fill all of the details, every single thing. And after you're done filling it, you're going to go back to the site and upload it there. Okay, then after you're done, you move to the next checklist. Um, and you can see the English proficiency as requested. You can upload the certificates that you have or the letter from your university. So you can see here, I've not yet taken a language test. I do not need to take a language test. I'm a native speaker. So you select what um, like applies. If you're a native speaker, obviously you have to upload the, um, the document that shows that. So your letter from your university, all of that. After you upload, it gives you the option. It will give you the option to kind of like save it. When you are done, you move to the other section your entry um, qualification. So you must scan and attach your original diploma on an original language, translation of the diploma into English language, have finished my undergraduate studies, bachelor's, I have attached all the required documents to my application. So you kind of like choose what applies um, to you and then you upload the documents here. Um, after you're done with that, you're going to move to the next checklist. You can see um, please choose one of the options below that best. I've understood the requirements and will fulfill them as soon as possible. I've fulfilled all the requirements. So if you are yet to fulfill it, you can choose this one. Um, if you have filled, fulfilled everything, then you choose that option. 
when you move to the next your passport id um if you have attached it you you state it if you have not you also state it so that you can come back later and attach it but then if you have it with you then you upload it um onto the site it's very necessary for you to go through all the checklists you go to your passport section um have you attached it are you yet to attach it if it's ready with you then you attach it to the application then you move next um to the ma major courses so list the relevant content themes aims and objectives of the courses you have attended um will be requested during the online pre-evaluation so just like i showed you the form that i showed you you come here and you kind of like um please download these form and fill the paper and upload it back um in your application so you kind of like you upload it here and then you just move on entry documents entry qualification documents so um like you must scan transcript of the last three or four years translated into english so if you have uploaded that yet you state oh i have uploaded it if you have not i've already uploaded if you have not it you choose this option if you are um you you have already uploaded then you you choose this one and then you upload it here and then uh, you move to the next um, application for scholarship so would you like to apply for university of bergamo scholarship if you want to to apply for the scholarship you can see all the um requirements here or everything you can see the details here so you will need to fill the mandatory form if you want to be considered okay fine if not then that is also fine but obviously you want to be considered so a copy of your valid passport um a copy of your original general because gre is required for this um application if you want to be considered for the university of Bergamo scholarship so that's what you should take note of then proof of payment of your pre-enrollment fee which i showed you the 53 euros then so your self-certification um of the enrollment certificate at you know you're coming to study master's for the relevant masters at the um, like this university um included the transcripts of records and the credits awarded so you upload that as well then a copy of your valid residence permit signed form and they then you upload everything here and then section you the checklist is that of for your cv so you click on it and then you can see um please choose one of the options below so if you have uploaded your CV, you choose that. If you have, you choose that. If you have not, you choose this. But then you remember you have to, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my video, but check out the recommended um, CV format um, for applying to Italian and European universities. Um, you have to create your CV on Europass. I have a video on that. I'm going to link it above so that you check it out to know the recommended format for applying to Italian universities. So yeah, so you upload your your past CV here, and then that will be all. You have to ensure that you fill all of this checklist before you click on submit, and then you will be done with the application. So I hope you guys got it. So basically, um, this is how simple it is. This is just how it is to apply to the University of Bergamo. I hope you guys found this video helpful um like after you're done with the, your application you're obviously going to send you an email um to let you know that they've received your application and you have to give it like a month um because you have to give it a month to kind of like um you have to give it a month after application to hear from them okay and outside of that also try and um look at other options other universities and try applying as well so that is all for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, yeah, I'm going to see you in my next university application um, video. Yeah, bye.